Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and Technology. And uh, of course, as we are 24 hours away from Windows 11 um, launch, or not launch, but event, because it's not going to be launched tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be launched this fall. There's no date, by the way. A lot of people are asking me what's the date of release. There's no release date, and we won't know tomorrow either. We'll know that it's coming this fall, but we're not going to have a date, uh, pretty sure. Uh, this thing needs to be tested, and it's going to be possibly tomorrow sent to the insider rings, and that will be the next part where it's going to be interesting to see. Now, Microsoft leaked a couple of new animations and, and videos about tomorrow's event that seem to hint at a little more than what we see here. So um, one of the things that a lot of us, you know, have been wondering is how this is all going to be like. And, and it seems that there's a lot, um, you know, there, not a lot, but there's, there's some stuff we still don't know that are going to be shown tomorrow. So maybe they refocused the event a little bit. Maybe they said, well, okay, so this leaked. Um, let's, let's show stuff that is not in this version, which is a month old, and that we added uh, with, since then. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, like I said, my first impressions of this is definitely positive. I like it. I like the rounded edges. It's, you know, minor things. I think one of the big um, reasons I like it also is, you know, it does feel crisp and everything, but it does feel modern. It is a different um, Windows. It feels different Windows, even though, yes, its uh, underlying code is Windows 10. Uh, and that is not a surprise. They haven't redesigned anything in the code, basically. It's really just Sun Valley, Windows 10X getting together. Uh, and like I said, this is only the first step. There's going to be some updates to this. Now, what I wanted to talk to do today about a little is Windows as a service. So you guys know Windows as a service. A lot of you ranted at Windows as a service. Um, for the most part, in my case, Windows as a service went pretty well, which is for the majority of people, things went pretty well. But, you know, not everybody. And Windows as a service... Um, even if you remove the, the, the it goes well or not, is been a big annoyance for most people anyways, because two big updates a year, man, that was, that was way too much. Now, Windows 11 is here. Um, and I'm thinking, so you're going to continue Windows as a service on Windows 11? Are we going to start getting at least a once a year big update to Windows 11 or twice a year big update to Windows 11? Is that the new operating system that's going to get these things? Um, one thing for sure, they seem to have backed off the two updates a year, so that's the good news and hopefully it's going to continue forward. But Windows 11 being a new operating system, it's not going to be here for you know the next uh, the next year or two and that's that's it. This is now a new operating system, and if the tradition continues, new operating systems have 10 year of life. Now, we're in 2021. That means that Windows 11 is going to be supported until 2031. It, it's mind-boggling. When I pronounce 2031, I find it mind-boggling. Uh, it, it seems like so far away. But yet, we all know how fast time flies. Um, so we're going to start getting Windows as a service on Windows 11 now. To, you know, one big update a year, one cumulative update. That was like Windows 10 had before. Uh, this is the interesting part. Um, this is maybe going to be answered tomorrow. Uh, Definitely, it's going to be an interesting thing to look at. As for those of you, by the way, that are asking, well, is there a way to, you know, I, I have a, 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 things go back to kind of Windows 10 like? Yeah, there's a registry. If, if it still continues to work with the official build, there's a registry hack that right now is kind of defaulting you back to more of a Windows 10 style. 
Uh, one of the things that I would say um, about wanting to default back to Windows 10, um, you know, if that's what you want to do, you better stay on Windows 10 anyways, because Windows 10 is still good until 2025. Uh, we have more than four years of Windows 10 left. So just don't move on. But um, there are tweaks and things that you could do. One aspect, maybe I would say, and and sometimes I'm thinking yes, and I'm thinking no. A switch, you know. So when you when you want to go into the settings and and start tweaking the settings, you know, because right now you you have uh, so you can remove the widgets button, for example. You can say I want to align on the left. Some people are asking me, can you align on the right? No, you can't. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what to think of this. Um, it's interesting that this brings taskbar settings and it doesn't bring anything else like the, the task manager. Maybe this is going to be a uh, change, but one of the things you could see here, device usage on the left side, which was, uh, not there. Um, we're going to talk about it in a separate video. So there, this is definitely, you know, not totally um not totally finished that's for sure so um depending on what you want to do and what you're going to do with your computer you'll be able to you know uh, tweak it that's for sure but um like i said it's windows as a service will continue that would mean we'd get some really big updates regularly on windows 11 um, which would technically need to be because this is the start of a new direction of, of Sun Valley, which is not going to be complete here. It's going to be several different versions before it is totally tweaked. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.